for many people, I think, the most powerful and resonant image in your speech was when you said that the American dream is not a sprint or even a marathon, it's a relay among generations. And if you think in that context, how would you assess the trajectory, the generational trajectory for the Hispanic population in the US? When you look at educational and economic attainment, how is the relay going? I believe that, that America is working its magic on this demographic group the way that it has on others, uh, that, that that upward trajectory is happening in the Latino community. Let's you know take it through education. Just recently we saw new numbers on a surge in enrollment among Latinos in college. We have more Latinos today who are uh, getting their PhDs, getting their masters, graduating from college, graduating from high school, thankfully, uh, than we did when my mother was growing up. Uh, in, in the field of, uh, in the realm of, of uh, business, the fastest growing segment of business owners are Latinas in the United States, which is great. Um, and elected officials, Naleo will tell you that since the early 80s, the number of uh, Latinos in elected office, if you take everything from you know, Senate to school board level, has tripled. Uh, so there's a progress that's been made. However, we also have issues like SB 1070 in Arizona and voter ID laws that are being passed uh, and this rabid uh, response that you're seeing in places like Alabama. So I think it's mostly been forward progress. You're seeing that intergenerational progress. My family is an example of that and that's what I told yesterday. But sometimes we, we take a couple steps back like you've seen recently. One more